name is Beth Lipman and I'm from Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. My name is Inga-Lena Klinell and I'm from Sunne in Sweden. We're here at the Museum of Glass to uh, create components for our upcoming installation, Glimmering Gone. Glimmering Gone is a title that we feel is appropriate because we're really talking about the passing of something. It's also about the, the, the idea of wilderness that has been an important mm -hmm. um, thing in this country as mm -hmm. well as in Scandinavia. It's about like a frozen moment. You stop something that you can't stop. It's also maybe trying to capture a moment that you never had to begin with. So it's this this balance between us standing in the cultural world, the community, the society, and being a part of nature and the disconnect. Glimmering Gone is comprised of three different uh, mini installations essentially. Memento is going to be stacked forms that are made up of cultural objects. The landscape is kiln formed. It's going to be over 20 feet long. It's going to be um, made up of layers of sheet glass that uh, slowly uh, kind of build to a three-dimensional state. And Artifact is, uh, is also a cultural uh, object um, installation. And it's going to be made up of solid sculpted, blown, limpwork, and kiln-formed white glass objects that are embedded into a wall. During this residency, we're creating both the mementos and the artifacts uh, with this team in a collaborative way. And your skill is why I think it's going to be such a fabulous two weeks is this meeting of the, the minds in terms of really master blowers and, and workers, so that's fabulous. One of the most important aspects of these two weeks for Ingelena and I is the dialogue and the collaboration between the Swedish team of glass blowers and the uh, United States team. It's like a group thing. It's not just a perspective from uh, America, it's also it's a broader global thing. What are the memories that we all hold that are universal for these objects? It's a lot of fun to make things that you see like all the time, you kind of take them for granted. It's kind of cool to figure out, you know, how would you make it out of glass. We made a camera, a handbag, and a bottle, and now we're making this cooking pot. We're kind of starting with easier things, and we're thinking about how, you know, we're going to make like a whisk or a hairbrush, and I think we have some ideas. I wouldn't cut my hair with that. All of the objects that we're creating in these two weeks are going to be modified after we make them by cutting them, polishing them, um, embedding them into the wall in the case of the artifacts, or stacking them and gluing them in the case of the mementos. We're going to be finishing this piece on site. It's not going to be ever installed previous to the time that we install it for the Museum of Glass. So for the Museum of Glass to to support such an experimental venture um, is it's a huge leap of faith and it's a testimony to their ability to support artists in experimental work. To make this possible, I think it's only this, this museum has made something for me so exciting. <laughs>